Welcome to Radar Engineering course. We start a new topic on a continuous flow and a frequency modulated radar. And we will discuss about their transmitter and receiver. And we will discuss how to obtain the radar range and how to detect the objects and all. To understand this one, we are supposed to learn a basic of a Doppler frequency shift and all. And after that, we will discuss about that how your continuous your radar is there, how it works, and then we will learn about that a frequency modulated radar. Frequency modulated radar, just like uh, we supposed to provide a signal, and we need to learn about the what will be change in the frequency and all that we need to be learned. So we talk first what do you buy a Doppler frequency shift and all and then we continue a discussion on this a frequency modulator. Okay, so now to understand that we need to learn about that what is the Doppler frequency shift. And again, we will learn that a MTI pulse radar here. Okay, so we continue the discussion on various radar, their transmitter and receiver there. And what will be the variation in the frequency that we will learn? Okay, so that's why we should know that where these radars are used. So generally, if you consider that, a pulse radar when we are sending one particular pulse so that echo signal received or reached at the radar they might have a variation in the frequency why this frequency variation observe because the object is not fixed object is moving if we are indicating a moving target or if we are detecting a moving target so in that case when we are receiving a signal, there will be a shift in a frequency. So what will be the shift in a frequency? That is to be observed. So for that purpose, we are supposed to understand what will be the shift in the frequency when we receive the echo signal. And then based on that shift in a frequency, we can find out what will be the velocity of the object, whether that object moving toward the radar or moving away from the radar that can be understand or that can be identified using the shift in the frequency and that frequency shift is called as a, a doppler shift and that that is nothing but a doppler effect okay we supposed to say that is about a doppler effect that changes the frequency of a signal that is transmitting from the radar and when it back to the radar so then there will be the variation in the frequency it changes in the frequency so what will be the transmitting frequency okay so from the radar so we say that we have a radar so it will transmit some frequency okay now this is about a signal frequency supposed to be transmitting here and we have an object suppose we have an object when it will reach to the object then there will be a we will receive the frequency signal there okay that is about the received that is about the echo and that echo we observe here the frequency of that particular echo if you consider a transmitting signal frequency and the equal signal frequency there is a small variation or there there is a change in a frequency there why this change in the frequency occurs because this object is moving okay this object whatever the object we say that it is a moving one when that object is moving toward the radar or that object is moving away from the radar so according to that there will be the variation of the frequency now we have earlier said that 
we uh, send a some particular pulse of frequency okay pulse signal to the object and we need to receive the echo before sending the a second pulse and according to that we are able to find out the unambiguous okay if supposed to be that distance between the or what we can say that we receive the pulse after sending the another pulse or after sending the two pulse so then there will be the ambiguity in the arrange there so to avoid it we need to differentiate the pulse repetition frequency or all pulse repetition time is to be a larger there but apart from this we supposed to send a continuous signal instead of a pulse signal we supposed to sending the continuous signal and that continuous signal is supposed to be reach at the object then object back reflect back that particular continuous signal means we will get the echo at the radar there same continuous signal will get here and then based on the continuous signal we say that there may be the variation in the speed of the object whether it is towards the radar or away from the radar so that can be identified using the sending the continuous pulse now what are the various radar that are used if we consider that a continuous waveform radar or we can say that a cw radar the cw radar is used to detect the moving target okay means we have the object that is aeroplane or a fighter plane so that radar continuous radar that is used to measure the moving target as well as they are using to measure the radial velocity okay they are using to measure the radial velocity of the object if apart from this continuous radar if you consider that other radar they are used to identify the what will be the speed of a wind okay okay are they supposed to find out the how this variation is takes place in the wind there okay they are able to measure the wind shear okay so likewise so radar can be used to measure the wind shear or other radars are there they are able to identify or produce images of the object okay images of the target so means sending the signal and from that whatever the signal we are echo signal we have received so according to that we can able to obtain the what will be the object shape okay so that image is to be designed or a developed now in the case of a continuous radar we suppose to send a continuous pulses continuous signal and we are getting the continuous signal here and that continuous signal has some variation in the frequency and that variation in the frequency we supposed to call as a, a doppler shift okay that is called as a, a doppler shift and that doppler shift if you consider that okay so that doppler shift is depending upon that what will be the transmitting frequency signal okay what will be the transmitting signal frequency whether we 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 are getting the object closer or a i from this radar okay away from the radar so according to that whatever the received signal we have that received signal we are receiving or a echo signal we are receiving so that echo signal consists of what a transmitting signal plus what will be the variation the doppler shift then there will be a plus or minus sign okay so we will discuss about this what will be the echo signal received by the radar so before that we will find out what will be the path or a range required okay so already we have discussed that a range of the range of the target that can be identified based on that how what will be the signal we are sending so means we are sending some wave 
from this, okay, that is about a transmitting wave to the object here. Okay, so now based on that, what we, this one is about a continuous signal. Instead of a pulses here, we are supposed to send a continuous signal to the device and then to the object and then object reflect back that particular continuous signal. Now in that case, so what will be the range? Okay, what will be the total range? Here? This one is about R. With respect to the, because we are sending the pulse, a signal, continuous signal, and we are reflecting back. Okay, this one, echo signal we are receiving. Then the, the total number of wavelengths, generally, it is about that is about a two-way path. Okay, that will be nothing but a two-way path. So in that case, what will be the range? Okay, from the radar to the target and return. Okay, in terms of a wavelength. If you define, so that will be what? That will be in terms of that. What will be the range here? And that will be defined in terms of a wavelength. Here. Okay, so means the total number of wavelengths Okay, total number of wavelengths in the two-way path from the radar to the target. Okay, radar to the target and return back to the radar. So that will be defined in terms of a wavelength. That is about a twice R by a lambda. And this wave, if you consider, in that case, that each wavelength, if you talk in terms of a phase change there, in the phase. So that is about a, a twice pi of a radius. So then what will be the total phase change in the two-way propagation? Two-way propagation means what? Forward as well as a backward. Here. So what will be the total phase change in the two-way propagation path? So in that case, so phi is equal to a twice pi because of a total here and we supposed to define earlier that is about a path in terms of a wavelength here. That is a twice R by lambda. Okay. So then we, we, we are getting here that is a 4 pi R by lambda. Okay. 4 pi R lambda. Now, we say that a target is the or we can say that object, object is in motion, okay, and that motion, either this one is in motion or this one is in motion, okay. So we are supposed to find out that which one is in motion now. So forget about this one. If supposed to be this object is in motion, then what happened there? So what will be the range of the radar? Okay, because object is varying, so then R is changing, okay, R is changing, whether it will be decreasing or if object nearer to the radar, R is decreasing, whether it is object is moving away from this radar. So R is changing here, if the R is changing, range is changing, so phi is again changing, okay, that phase. Then we need to find out what will be the change in the phase with respect to the a time there. Okay, what will be the change in the phase with respect to time? And that will give us the angular frequency. So what is the angular frequency here? In that case, that angular frequency is equal to what will be the changes in the phase with respect to the a time. Because R is changes and that change is occur with respect to a time because that object is in motion. Okay. Forget about that radar. Okay. Only that object is in motion. So in that case, what will be the changes in the phase there with respect to time? So that is that gives us a angular frequency. So we can define here a 4 pi pi lambda. That R is changes with respect to time. That's why we can say that dr by dt. And that dr by dt, 
okay that dr by dt means nothing but what a changes in what changes in the range with respect to time okay changes in the range with respect to time it is nothing but the a radial velocity of the object so in that case we can define 4 pi pi lambda instead of that we define a radial velocity okay we are here and we can define again with respect to the frequency okay with respect to frequency. so what will be the definition in terms of a frequency we can say that that is about a doppler frequency shift f d f generally what we are saying omega d is equal to twice pi f generally what we are saying omega d is equal to twice pi f so how this dr by dt dr by dt is nothing but what br is equal to what okay whatever the change with respect to time the range change with respect to time and this one is nothing but what okay radial velocity this one is nothing but a radial velocity okay and that is in terms of a meter per second but we can define in terms of a what will be the speed in terms of a kilometer per hour or a meter per hour so that's why that vr can be defined in terms of a kilometer per hour or a meter per hour that's why one standard notation they are, they are supposed to use is stop a meter per second so we supposed to define in terms of a in naught okay naught means k naught in naught that is a unit that will define the velocity in terms of a kilometer per hour or a, a meter per hour. Okay, in sorry, a miles per hour, kilometer per hour or a miles per hour. Because that object is in terms of that distance of the object is in terms of a miles. That's why what will be the distance in terms of a kilometer or in terms of a miles that can be defined with respect to the radial velocity. So that's why a radial velocity is of a meter per second, it will be defined in terms of a miles per okay, second or a kilometer per hour. So, or you can say that miles per hour. Okay, likewise. So we can define in terms of miles per hour, miles per second, or we can say that kilometer per hour, kilometer per second. So not is our standard. Okay, K N O T not it will be defined in terms of that not of meter per second we define it not and that will define a mile per hour or kilometer per hour okay so what will be the one knot one knot if we talk about in terms of meter per second that is about a 0.51 okay one knot is equal to what is about a 0.51 meter per second 51 if you talk in terms of a miles per hour it will be what 1.152 miles per hour okay if you talk in terms of a kilometer 1.85 kilometer per peak okay so this one we can define a radial velocity in terms of a a naught here okay so now we can define again that range because that velocity okay that radial velocity if we define in terms of a the whether that target okay if the target is in a line line of sight here okay so this one is about your radar and the object here if that object okay this one is about your object or a target so you can define a target vector there and a radar line of a side there okay radar line of sight to the target so in that case that will be differentiated with respect to a angle that angle between what angle between that a target velocity vector we say about a target velocity vector because we supposed to say that we have the radar placed here and a object is here. So 
So in that case, that object is moving, and the target is moving. okay. This one. in that case, what will be the velocity vector, and what will be the distance? So in that case, we suppose to find out that what will be the a theta here. So that can be defined in terms of what a theta. Okay, that is about the angle between the a target velocity vector and a radar line of sight. So in that case, so V R we can define with respect to what this one V R we can define in terms of a what will be the velocity here, okay, and cos of a theta. And we defined earlier that the rate of change with respect to time that is nothing but what with respect to a velocity okay radial velocity 4 pi v r by okay that is about 4 pi v r by lambda or we can define that the rate of change of phi that is about a phi is nothing but what total phase change in a two way property with respect to time is equal to what omega d omega d is nothing but what a angular frequency okay okay that is nothing but a angular frequency. or that angular frequency can be defined in terms of a doppler shift so omega d is equal to twice pi d so if you compare this equation okay if you compare this twice pi fd and this one four pi lambda here so we can say that a fd here fd is equal to what that is about a twice of vr by lambda or we can define in terms of a twice of f d vr by d is nothing but what velocity of the speed okay that speed of light that is 3 into 10 for 8 and the f d is nothing but a frequency transmitting by the a radar there so twice of f d vr by a c so this one is about a doppler shift means we can say that this one is about a radar generally we say that but in the case of a antenna this one and we have a object here okay suppose we have a object here so object is a moving this one so in that case we define this is about the velocity of the object okay so this one is the velocity vector and we say that from this okay from this this one is about the range of radar that is about r and here if we consider that radial velocity so this is nothing but what if we are is equal to what v cos of theta this one is radial and this one we have we suppose to define a angle is nothing but a theta angle. okay so that is about the range so this one v r is equal to v cos theta v r is equal to v cos theta means what from the target to the object okay sorry from the radar to the object that will be the velocity towards the radar that is nothing but a v r okay so then if that theta okay there is no variation theta is equal to zero okay so then what will be the v r here v r is equal to v okay if there is variation in the Theta there, then we are is equal to v to cos of whatever the angle we have. Okay, so in that case, we suppose to find out a what will be the v r. Okay, what will be the radial velocity? And this one, f t, okay, f t is nothing but what the radar frequency. Generally, we can say that f t is equal to what f t is equal to whatever the c by lambda. Okay, f t is equal to a c by lambda. now we will talk here so final equation of a doppler radar okay so that doppler frequency shift and all so what we are saying earlier if we have the the radar here and if we have the object here okay so this is nothing but the range of a radar that is the port r here and here we have we are is equal to what v of cos And that object has the velocity that is about to be. This one is about the object velocity, and this makes an angle. 
that's why we are recording so now from this theta okay so this target is about what a theta is nothing but what the angle between the a target velocity vector is about the object we have depends about your object that is about the velocity of the object and a radar line of sight to the object the object velocity or a target velocity and radar line of sight so that is about a, a theta so that's why we say that v r is equal to v cos theta okay v r is equal to v cos theta and we define that earlier what is the doppler shift doppler shift is nothing but what a of d okay fd is equal to what that we have defined earlier that is a choice of vr by lambda or a choice of fd to vr by and we say that fd is equal to what ft by lambda fd is equal to what ft by lambda okay, that we have defined earlier so if you write the velocity that we are in terms of a knot okay unit of a knot here in that case fd is equal to what 1.03 vr by lambda in that case this is about a knot here and this one is in terms of a, a meter or we can say that approximately is equal to we are by lambda this is about kt and this is about a meter here okay this one is about the approximate and this one is about a, a doppler frequency approximation here that we supposed to mention here okay and then that will be defined for the every uh, frequency variation there if it is fine so what will be the total frequency okay so that can be defined the different wavelength okay so this one lambda okay next we will see that a the case of what a continuous radar okay we will see that a continuous radar and their block diagram and we say that earlier that is a signal received by the echo signal okay we say that echo signal is reflected echo signal we have received that is nothing but what a f r here and a transmitting signal that is about a f okay this is about a echo signal right here f r and f t so now from that what we are defining f t is nothing but a transmitting signal this is nothing but what a transmitting signal and this one is about a echo signal and we are receiving that a echo signal that is about f r okay we are receiving the frequency and then that is about a echo signal when your object is in motion when your object or a target is in motion or you can say that a moving target then whatever the signal transmitted by the radar okay whatever the signal transmitted by the radar that will be shifted by the doppler effect okay that will be shifted by the doppler effect what is the doppler effect doppler effect we say we supposed to consider that doppler effect we are we supposed to get that a doppler effect is nothing but what there is a variation in the shift in the frequency that is about a plus or minus f now what will be the total signal received okay f r okay so we can say that whatever the signal we supposed to be received at this receiver here okay or a, a whatever the mixer so in that case that mixer is nothing but what ft plus 
or minus yep d we are we are getting this a two pulse well, yep t plus or minus is plus or minus sign that is about a at a mixer okay we are getting the signal mixer okay at a mixer mixer signal okay at a mixer signal we are getting a yep t plus yep d so what do you mean by this yep t yep d is nothing but what it changes in the scapular frequency so variation there. now then what do you mean by this plus or minus sign plus sign indicates okay that the distance between that radar and a object is decreasing okay means we can say that we have a radar here this one is nothing but a target or a object is there. okay now in that case we supposed to send a signal so in that case if the distance between this object that r is decreasing okay r is decreasing means what that target is moving towards the radar so in that case this signal will be what ft plus yft okay this becomes a ft plus yft if our radar and this the about trans if it is away from the object distance is large okay this up target is away from this so we need to it if it is going away from the object okay away from so in that case so what will be the so in that case the object is moving in that direction so in that case whatever the signal this is about r so in that case we are receiving that ft minus ft okay at the at the at the mixer we supposed to get the ft plus ft or ft minus ft means we supposed to get ft plus or minus ft that there will be a shift in a doppler frequency okay doppler frequency shift occur okay means that echo signal there is a variation in the frequency there and that variation in the frequency is called as the doppler frequency if the target is moving towards the radar, radar there okay or we can say that a target and a radar distance is decreasing okay target and radar distance is decreasing means what that object or this target is closer to the radar or near to the radar okay so in that case ft plus ft there will be a plus sign and the minus sign means what that the object or the target okay is away from this okay that distance is increasing that radar and this particular object if the distance is increasing so in that case means it is that object or a target is moving away from the radar okay this target is moving away from the radar so in that case there will be a ft minus ft there will be ft plus ft or ft minus this one is about the echo signal we are receiving the echo signal okay we are receiving the echo signal that will be what ft plus ft or ft minus ft if the target is moving towards the radar ft plus ft if the target is moving away from the radar then ft minus ft so that is the meaning of what away from the radar and okay moving nearer to the radar okay away from the radar or nearer to the radar that frequency here ft plus ft means what that frequency will be a larger okay what what frequency signal we are transmitting okay what frequency signal we are target transmitting so means we are receiving suppose i am saying that this is nothing but our transmitting signal for example so now the echo signal will be what so likewise it will be the highest that's about what we can do. and in that case what happened here in this case here so we are getting the echo signal okay frequency will be smaller okay that frequency will be larger frequency will be because ft minus ft okay so this one happened here so when we consider that 
a radar okay when we consider that a object or a target whether it is away from the radar or a near to the away or near to the radar so according to that we will define here or we can say that your object okay may be nearer to the nearer to the radar or away from the radar so that will be defined or uh, that will be updated based on the what will be the echo signal we are receiving okay that is about a the doppler signal so another issues are there okay another issues are there when we, we consider the signal get to be transmitted in general near radar generally what we are saying we are sending the a pulse signal for example forget about the continuous pulse so that distance between the two pulses okay that is about a pulse repetition time prt or a pulse repetition frequency okay pulse repetition time or a pulse repetition frequency if consider so that is to be a larger time is to be larger so in that case we are receiving the signal at the end okay but what happen here with that echo signal sometimes it is to be reflecting from the environment here if supposed to be nearby there is hill mountain something like that there so according to that echo signal will be coming from the environment that is a noise one and that noise is greater than the echo signal received from the object so in that case we are getting on the display different target so actual target we are not able to identify because we are getting the a a noise signal there that noise signal through the environment that's why it is called as a clutter so through because of the clutter we are not able to identify where is our object okay that is about the issues the error so we need to define that what will be the exactly the level of the signal okay and according to that we can find out Okay, we will further move to the block diagram of a CW radar. Okay, that is the body block diagram of a CW radar, and that will reflecting the what will be the Doppler frequency shift from the moving target. Okay, whether that target is stationary or whether that target is a what we can say that. a moving there and we supposed to remove that particular clutter okay means that is about a echo from what or that clutter signal is nothing but came from the environment so that is not a, a part of our exactly whatever the signal here so that why we supposed to use a doppler frequency shift and when we are using a doppler frequency shift So that part of a clutter will be removed automatically, okay? Because we are getting the echo signal or a leakage signal from the environment or a transmitter signal, okay? That will reach to the receiver. So that is about a leakage signal from the transmitter that can be removed from this a device. So we'll go here with the continuous radar here. we supposed to say that this is about your target or a object now okay this is about your target here or object and here we have antenna now we supposed to get the continuous signal here from the transmitter This one is the body continuous to transmitter here, and the frequency here is defined in the body AFT. And we are we supposed to say that because same antenna is used as the transmitter as well as the receiver there, so that's why we supposed to write okay. So what will be the component of the echo signal? Here? Sorry, receiver here. So at a receiver. we have a detector okay 
okay we have a detector and we have a doppler filter okay this one is about the doppler filter and we are getting the doppler yep and we are getting the signal okay at the detector this detector means what it has a, a mixer it has a, a mixer right and we can say that we supposed to get the signal this one is about a transmitting signal and we supposed to get the okay echo here supposed to say that on the body of t plus yep. and we are getting here a yep t plus yep Okay, we'll say that no F T plus or minus F T. Okay, right now we are not saying that object is here. Or here. Even if some of the leakage signal from the transmitter here, this one is the body leakage from the transmitter. That's why it is the body F T. And here is a, a detector block. So what happened here? Okay, in this one we found it here. The plus or minus sign we already discussed, and uh, we say that if your object is nearer, okay, closer to the radar there, then there will be a plus sign. If it is away from it, then there will be a minus sign. And sometimes there will be a leakage signal, okay, and that leakage signal that can be act as a reference signal, and that will be used to determine what will be the Changes in the frequency. Okay, that leakage signal that is to be used to determine the what will be the changes in the frequency. And here we have a detector. If you see that a detector, at a detector, we are getting the echo signal. And that echo signal is of a frequency of F T plus or minus F T here, as well as a a leakage signal for the reference purpose and this one is about a doppler filter that is used to identify what will be the difference in the frequency there and that will be passing through the detector or that is to be filter is used to pass only the what will be the a frequency difference Okay, so F T plus or minus F T, what we can say that what will be the difference? Frequency. So which signal is to be passed through the detector or reject? Okay, so that is the role of the a Doppler filter, and that only allows the difference frequency. Okay, that only allows the a difference frequency to pass to the a filter there. And if you see the frequency characteristics of this a filter here so it is just like a band pass filter okay if you consider that a frequency response here it just allow to pass into the that particular kind of a, a frequency here. okay that is about your frequency response of this particular filter. now we need to know about so what will be the a lower cut of frequency for this and a highest cut of frequency for this so that lower cut of frequency that will be used to remove the whatever the a signal received at the receiver there. and that received signal is nothing but what it is a part of what a ft plus fd as well as them a what we can say that a transmitter leakage but here somewhere if supposed to be there is a echo signal okay that echo signal generated from the environment that we can say that a clutter echo so that 
clutter echoes again can be removed using this Doppler filter. And if you see what is the frequency of a clutter echoes, so clutter echoes is less than that particular transmitting frequency. So that's why a Doppler frequency or a Doppler shift, Doppler filter is used to remove that particular a clutter echo. And that upper cut of frequency is to be defined in terms of what will be the radial velocity of the a target. So according to that, we can define the upper cut of frequency for this a Doppler filter. And that generally we say that a Doppler filter that passes only a Doppler frequency, okay, a Doppler frequency within a particular band. Here. Otherwise, what will happen? It is not allowed only to pass. But ultimately here, we say that there will be a plus or minus sign with respect to that Ft plus or Ft minus Ft. So, with this, we stop here. We will continue the discussion on the CW data again tomorrow there. With this, we stop here. So, thank you all of you. So, thank you all.